Hey Fit Fam! Welcome to our Beachbody Fit Family. For those of you who have not met me yet or are brand new to our group, my name is Becky Schrader and I am your Beachbody Coach. Woo -woo. <laughs> but uh, seriously guys, anyway, if you're joining us for the first time this month or you're jumping back in after taking a little hiatus, this is your official welcome video. We just kicked off our prep week we are gonna officially start day one of our challenge on Monday. So we have about five, six days here to get ready together. Um, this month, I'm gonna take things a little differently. Uh, I always like to mix things up a bit, but I wanted to share with you guys some recent re-motivation that I experienced um, last month when I was traveling because I think it's really driving my mindset right now and how this group will operate, okay? So, basics. If you're in this group, it means that you have enrolled as a client with a Beachbody coach who is in this group, who's on our team, and that's amazing. So, your coach might be me, your coach might be Luz, might be Kelly, might be Cynthia, might be James. <laughs> There's tons of coaches in here and obviously tons of clients. There's about 200 or so of us here. Um, not everybody participates in every challenge. There's This group is open to you for the lifetime of your journey with your health. So if you want to plug in and dive in and do 21 days with us this month and then, you know, sit back and, and work on your own for the next month or two or three or five, it doesn't matter. You're still welcome to stay here. And if you want to participate in any aspect of this group, that is absolutely great and fine and welcomed. Okay? So... Each month, we kick off 21 days of focus at some point during the month, right at the beginning, right in the middle, whatever, okay? That's my main goal. I feel excellent about the effort that I put in toward my health and fitness goals this month. I gave up my excuses. I put all my reasons why I can't do it or reasons why I deserve to cheat or reasons, reasons, reasons. I put all those on the shelf and I just showed up and I did the work. That's the feeling that I want to have at the end of this month. And I'm betting there are a bunch of you in here that want that same feeling too. So we're going to stick together. We're going to rock this challenge out and we are going to get results. If you are ready to dive in with us, commit to your program, commit to your eating plan, commit to your Shakeology, commit to showing up to this group once a day, every day. I want you to comment below this video. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. That's all I want from you right now is I'm in because that's going to be my list of people who I am going to lock arms with this month and make sure that we don't let anybody fall off the train, that we don't leave anybody behind, that your commitment to yourself, I'm going to help you fulfill that. Okay. By not letting you let yourself off the hook. So if you're ready to commit and you're ready to go for it, comment below this video. I'm in. Okay. If you don't want to watch the rest of this, that's totally cool. If you do keep listening. Last month I was traveling home to see friends and family for uh, about a, almost two weeks. And while I was there, I had kind of an eye opening experience that directly relates to why this group and this community is so important to not only my success, but the success of you, my clients. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you as my perspective and reasoning on why, when I ask you to commit to these challenges, why I ask you to plug into these groups, to plug in daily, give us a pulse and let us know that you're alive and that you are on the bus with us, even if you're on the struggle bus that day, you know, but that you're still in the game and you're still working toward your goals. You've got that fire and you're working on it, okay? So I go home to visit friends and family um, I love these people, right? They're my family. They're my best friends. Some of them since so, so young. I can't even remember when we met. Um, and I was presented with this environment that was outside my norm for a good 10 days. I'm surrounded by people who are living their lives the way they're living them. I'm surrounded by temptations in the food department, a wacky schedule. But most importantly, I'm surrounded by people who do not yet have a positive mindset around their health, okay? Um, I'll be the first to admit that most of my closest friends and family have 
uh, been very, very skeptical of what I do with Beachbody since the beginning. And that's pretty normal. Um, most of your closest friends and family, they know you from when you were eating a bag of Cheetos and drinking a Mountain Dew two liter bottle of pop, you know, on the couch watching a movie. You know, they remember those days and they're like, yeah, Becky, you're all of a sudden into health and fitness, whatever. Um, so for though, for my friends at home, um, what struck me the most was that I have in the last two years as a coach and as a challenger in these groups, I have worked relentlessly at shaping my mindset on, I can do this. This is not as hard as I thought it was. Um, I can reach my goals. I have the tools to do it. I have the capability within me to do it. I have a community here that supports me and uplifts me when I'm having a shitty day and helps me remember that I am capable of doing this. That helps me remember that even if I'm not losing two pounds on the scale, that I'm still an awesome person um, who deserves to live a happy life. You know, that I'm not somebody that gives up, that I'm not somebody who, you know, doesn't deserve the happiness and results that I'm after. Okay. I don't know if this is even making any sense here, but my point is, is that I got around these people who talk down to themselves, who literally speak doubt and defeat over their life all the time. It was crushing to my soul and to my motivation, to be honest. I was like, I started feeling really down and like, ugh, you know, um, not to mention the other side of things, right? I practice a lot of time in my home and sharing with this group for accountability, the healthy food choices that I strive to make. And when I screw up and I eat crappy stuff, I share it to, to hold myself accountable. Um, when I was surrounded by some of these influences where it's the norm for them to eat cookies and ice cream cones and drink sodas and go out to the fast food restaurants and and those are the routines that they're in it's hard to resist it guys I mean it's hard to say no I'm gonna go all the way across town and not eat with you I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and dick my own salad up out of the salad bar and um I don't want to go have pizza with you and you know, all that's that's hard, right? Okay, so I've described two things. You're you may be around people who do not share the same values that you share um, when it comes to your healthy lifestyle choices. Okay, you may be surrounded by people who do not share the same ideals of keeping a positive mindset and how that plays into you achieving your goals. Those two things specifically. In addition to the litany of other things, like people who share the same values that, you know, you need to work out and exercise every day, that you need to make these positive choices in your life to get the results that you want, you as a person in, you know, living in your life and your community are likely surrounded by people who don't get it yet or who may never get it. And that, guys, is why this group, this community is so beneficial to you. Because even though it's virtual, you can literally surround yourself with hundreds of other people who get it, who are on the same journey, who are on the same mission, who are putting the same things first, putting their physical fitness first, putting their healthy food choices first, putting their positive belief and mindset first so that they can achieve something different than what they've had that brought them to this point, right? Everybody that joins this group, at some point you said, I'm sick and tired of whatever it is, those extra 20 pounds of having no energy of wishing I could stick to this plan and never succeeding at it. You know, you got to the point where you said, I'm sick of it and decided to buy your package, sign up for this group and join in, right? You got sick of being sick and tired. The most important thing you can do, I believe, is to surround yourself with a community of like-minded people. And that's exactly what this group is. That's why I ask you to plug into it every day. When you commit to these challenges, I ask you to plug in every day. It's such an unseen key to your success with this package of tools and, and shakes that you bought and showed up on your, on your doorstep. Those tools and everything are amazing. They're great. 
they are revolutionary, but you know, you can buy the best knife you've ever had off the internet. And if it sits on your counter and you never use it, it's useless, right? You can buy this amazing program and package. And if the people around you are telling you it's not going to work or that it's a scam or that it's a fraud or that, you know, you failed so many times in the past, it's never going to work for you. If you're surrounded by those kind of influences, you have got to surround yourself with other influences. Okay. And you may not have those kind of people in your daily life yet, but you definitely have them here. <clears throat> so all of this long ranty video to basically say to you guys this month, specifically in our challenge, I am focusing on making this our positive, supportive community. Okay. Last couple of months, we've done a lot of challenges around, you know, earning points and winning prizes and stuff. And it's fun. It's super fun for, especially for those of you in here that are competitive and like a little, you know, winner challenge. But what I'm after for you guys is to get you results, to get you over that hump of investing in something and failing, investing in something and failing, committing to something and giving up on yourself. We've got to get over that so that you can get the results that you wanted when you signed up for this challenge. I truly believe in my heart, especially after being sucked up out of my little positive bubble that I've created for myself in my daily life here in home, right? And in these online communities and plunked down amidst a lot of the old influences that used to affect and influence my thinking about myself. It was an eye opener, guys. I don't know how to other, I, I don't know how else to explain it, but it was an eye opener that the people that influence what you think about yourself and what they say about you and what, what you believe, what of what they say that you believe so impacts whether you will succeed with these tools or not. Okay. So I ask you, if you're going to commit to being in this challenge this month, if you're going to commit to showing up, that's why I want to see, are you in comment below? Are you in that way? We are going to keep locked arms. We're going to keep you focused and checking in every day surrounding yourself with these positive people, these positive influence, this positive support, support community of people that you can rely on to help support you through your journey. No matter what environment you have at home, you can always come into this safe place and increase your chances of success dramatically. Okay. So this is a long welcome video. <laughs> I will be having more shorter updates for you guys as we go along each day this week, right? It's Tuesday. So we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five more days to get ready to go. The next videos over the next couple days will be more practical tips. Like how, how do you actually get ready over the next five days? But today I just wanted you guys to really dig in and think about, are there people in your life who are there people or are there environments? Are there, you know, situations in your regular life outside of this group that are potentially negatively impacting your ability to succeed with what you've chosen to do, this healthy lifestyle, okay? If so, that's okay, that's life, right? There's always gonna be some rub, some sandpaper in your life. But I want you to know that your, your fourth tool in the toolbox, right, is this community. It's essential for your success. So comment below, I'm in. And that way I will know to expect your face showing up in this group every day for the rest of this month. And if you go missing, I'm gonna come looking for you. Okay, y'all have a great night. I will see you in the morning for some more get ready tips. Love you. Bye.